Think about it. If you give a child something to write with, they're going to make images. It's an instinct ingrained in every human being. As we get older, we learn our letters and we suppress our visual instincts. Many people never attempt to reach their potential in drawing because they're scared of messing up or looking bad. You don't have to worry about messing up today. Tell them why, little old man. Cause baby, you're a firework. As I was saying, today you are going to draw Katy Perry and you are going to surprise yourself with the quality of your work. I recommend that you hit the link in the video description. The link will take you to a page in my website with photos and text. This guide on my website will enhance your understanding of what I'm teaching you in this video. Everybody grab your pencils and paper. Let's get started. Step 1. Draw a bowl shape. Step 2. Observe and draw the nose shape at the top of the bowl shape. Notice its size and placement within the bowl shape. Also, add the lines which look like parentheses. Notice their angle and their placement compared to the outside of the bowl shape. Step 3. Add the three shapes to make the smile. Notice the placement of these shapes compared to the nose and the smile lines. Be sure to notice that the upper lip is the smallest of the three shapes and the bottom lip is the biggest. Step 4. Draw in the teeth. Notice that each tooth appears to become smaller as they go further back into the mouth. This is not the case in real life, but it is when we draw a smile. Try not to darken the lines between the teeth too much. Step 5. Merrill, what the heck is that? Relax. Don't worry. I'm going to make this nice and simple. First, notice that the new shape is taller than the bowl shape. The triangular shape at the top center is slightly wider than the nose shape. Look closely and notice that the left side is squared and the right side is rounded. Also, be sure to see that the right side is lower than the left. Step 6. Listen, you're a firework. Don't freak out. This is easy. Hair moves all the time. You do not need to get this shape perfect. Use your observational skills and get the general shape of the hair. Again, don't be intimidated by this step. Just generalize what you see. Step 7. Draw in the eye shapes. Notice that there is one eye length between the two eyes. Notice the difference in size between the top eyelashes and the bottom ones. Notice the size of the iris compared to the whites of the eye. Step 8. Draw in the shapes for her body. Hey everybody, welcome to the shading part of the video. Um, I have a little bit of a new format uh, for this section now. At the top, you see the three tools that I recommend that you use for this. Uh, one is a blending stump, the one in the middle is a Q-tip, if you have nothing else, and um, the third one is a paintbrush. Uh, you notice the bottom left, it said, if you mess up, click this. That's a video that I made that will be really helpful. Uh, if you worked on it for a long time and you just messed it up and you just get really disgusted with yourself. There's a way to fix that. Click that video if you mess it up when you're shading. Uh, and the other one, there's an extended shading tutorial for those of you who think uh, that this one goes too fast. But I recommend that you pause it at different parts and, of course, hit the link in the video description. Um, and uh, it, it should suffice, but if not, you could always uh, look at the video, uh, the extended uh, shading tutorial, which you see me go really slowly with the blending. Um, basically, when I blend, I'm trying to uh, build things up gradually. I am trying to uh, start out by pressing really, really light, and as I go further on, I press a lot harder. Uh, I also use different pencils as I go further on. Uh, I, get, I use higher number B pencils. So I might start out with an HB pencil, which is a uh, same thing as a number two pencil, and I'm developing all parts. I'm looking at my photo reference. You could look at mine uh, if, if you want. Uh, actually, I recommend that you do. Um, 
and I make sure that I look once every five seconds. Uh, I always try to see things as shapes, you know, both when you're setting up the form of the drawing, but especially when you're doing the shading, um, it's really important to remain in that habit as well. You know, look at your reference image and keep comparing. See if you could notice uh, nuances of shadows. Um, you know, try to break things down into shapes as much as possible. Work from big shapes to small shapes. Very important. Um, sorry about the glare. Um, couldn't help it with the lighting. Uh, but uh, when you use the graphite stick like I do, um, you know, and that's a very high-numbered graphite stick, uh, there you see me working with it now, uh, that gets really shiny. The sur makes the surface really shiny. Uh, those are great for doing hair. Um, it's totally, totally painful, totally painful to do hair with a, a, a tiny tipped pencil. So I recommend that you go out and invest in a graphite stick. Um, any supply questions that you have, and I usually get a lot of them, um, I have a, sec a section on my website, um, and actually a section on each page of my website. Uh, it goes through the supplies that I use uh, for uh, the different works uh, that I've done. Um, and I think I'm up to almost 160 videos now, so you have a lot of uh, catching up to do if you're just uh, finding my channel. But, um, yeah, I, I basically wind up saying something very similar for this part of the video. Build it up slowly. See things as shapes. Um, you know, if you mess up, uh, that that's kind of a new thing. If you mess up, see that video because there's a way to salvage things. Um, there's always a creative solution to things. And uh, you'll see what I mean when you see that video. But hopefully you won't have to. Um, the skin is a, a bit tricky. Uh, one of the darkest parts is um, her left shoulder, the shoulder to your right. Um, you know, it, it, the, the face is in high uh, light. Um, that shoulder, it's kind of dark. It's kind of the neutral in between the hair and the, uh, the face uh, tone. So that might be helpful. Um, I'm using the brush. It, it basically gives me a, a smoother uh, means of, of shading. Blending, rather. Yeah, there's a bit of a difference. Shading and blending. Shading is when you add, um, you know, with the pencil. Blending, yeah, that's what you do with the, the various blending tools. Don't mean to get over-technical on you now. Anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Um... You know, I hope that uh, what I said was helpful to you. Um, if it was, please subscribe. Thank you.